Hey guys, welcome welcome back to my channel. This week I have a special guest with me. I'm Minahil, I'm five years old and I I love I am drawing with my sister today. So the two of us will be drawing something. The, we have a bunch of chits. I wrote out a few topics that I hope she likes on these chits. She's going to pick one out and whatever comes out, we will draw it. What do you want it to be? Unicorns. You like unicorns? Yeah. Also flying horses. Okay. Wait, let's shuffle it up first. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Let's see what it is. What is it? What is it? It's princesses! Do you want princesses? Yeah, I like on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like princesses? 100, a million, thousand, hundred, a million, thousand, zero, one hundred, two, a million, thousand, eleven, two hundred, million, thousand, hundred, thirteen. That's definitely on a scale of 1 to 10. Let's now get, get our supplies, gather everything up, whatever she wants to use, whatever I want to use, we just put it all, get it all, and then get ready. What do you think you're going to make? I think I'm going to make... A princess! What color would you make it? I like the rainbow color, so I think I'm going to make it rainbow color. You sure? Explain Ma to us what you're doing here. I'm making a four princess. Wait, no, this isn't the four princesses. Oh, I drew a horrible princess at the back of my picture. So I, I decided to do it uh, at the other side because I made a horrible princess at the back. What she's trying to say is she decided to start with one thing, like a princess, a simple princess, and then she changed her mind in the middle, took inspiration from, well, I'll get you guys decide what she took inspiration from. I am painting the scene from Rapunzel, the floating lantern scene. I find it very beautiful and nice, probably an artistic scene, so obviously I went for it. This is basically a tutorial. All the techniques are really simple and basic and it's nothing difficult so if you want to follow along please go ahead. This is a tutorial but I'm just painting with my sister at the same time without actually explaining it like that wouldn't a tutorial if you want me to explain it and do it separately in another video i can do that too just tell me in the comments below and i will do so please like share and subscribe too and subscribe subscribe now what are you doing um i'm drawing the fun which other princesses did you draw? Um, a Frozen, uh, it's called Elsa, and then Anna, and also Jasmine. And who's your favorite? Rapunzel. But a little while ago you were saying Elsa. Um, I have to choose the... My favorite, favorite, no, but my Elsa was favorite. Do you like Moana? Let's bring someone new into this. This is probably the toughest decision of her life, ever. Okay, this is the most difficult decision she's ever made in her life. Is it? I had more difficult, like hundred million thousand hundred. Okay, okay, I know you're a fan of big numbers. You like big numbers. For my lanterns, the only tip that I would like to give if you're trying to follow along is don't try to do yellow lanterns or orange lanterns straight away. If you've done a purple background, yellow and purple mixed together to form brown 
and you don't want brown lanterns. So you'd put white down first so that you get yourself a blank canvas and then use that. And it'll also give the effect that the lantern is glowing because the white part will look like the lantern and the paint you'd get outside that would look like it make it look like it's shiny. So the white just adds the whole effect. You don't need to do that if you don't want to, but I suggest doing it. And if you guys didn't know, this is the same sister who was watching Frozen 2 in my second video. Causing some serious disturbance, but let it go and show yourself. Um, I had to switch it off because I had to switch it off. But you like it? Yeah, that was in the night. Okay. Which princess are you coloring right now? Um, right now I'm coloring Rapunzel. But a few seconds ago I was coloring Elsa. I have another special guest coming in the second half of my video if you're bored of princesses. See, stick, stick around to see who that is. He is my brother. He is my brother and he... he uh, and he... He likes... He, li he always shares... So do I, if he shares with me, I share with him, and he also is coming in the next video. Not the next video, this video. I guess that's all you need to know about the brother. And I think we're almost done. Are we done? Mm, kind of. Kind of. Almost done. Did you enjoy this? Yeah. Do you paint with me often? So here we have the second guest in my video. Hello, I'm Ali, the amazing sharing brother. I am a 10 year old and I like doing art, like nature and animals. So for Ali, we've chosen a couple of topics that are related to nature and animals, but there's a couple of interesting ones in there too. And same as with my sister, we're going to pick out one topic from these 10 and whatever it is, we draw something like that or something related to that and hope it turns out interesting. And let's see what it is. Drum roll, be please. Yeah. Of course, you have to create chaos. Yes, and it Wait, is. Let's do it again. Okay. Second time. Still a mess, but I think we got one. And it is trees! Yay, trees! Now attempted the sleeve transition. I guess I should just do it. My picture is a simple uh, uh, watercolor tree wet with the wet on dry technique. It's about the most simple tree you can make, and it's for beginners definitely if you want to follow along you can it's basically a brown stick with green brush dabs if you want it simplified so I have I am also doing a tree except in mine there will there's always an animal in every single one I had, was planning at first to make a dog a, a fox a dog fox then a dog then a wolf then another fox and then nothing look then nothing looking up at the tree yeah. yes, yes please get your head out of there that sounded odd but okay i finished this my piece really quickly you might i haven't finished it yet but when i did finish it i did it really quickly oh yeah he ruined not the wet on wet technique uh basically you're not supposed to put so much water. I'll let him explain the rest. Yes. So, when you put too much water, your entire page will be destroyed and you will need a sister to help you out. <laughs> okay. 
Um, he went for the wet on wet technique, the technique I don't usually do. He does it probably more than I do, because every time I've done watercolors so far, it's always been wet on dry. I apologize for that, I'll do wet on wet soon. Soon. Not yet, but soon. Aren't most of your sunsets wet on wet? I haven't done that many. And I keep ruining it, and the tissue saves us. The tissue was the superhero of this whole thing. Da, 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 da. The superhero tissue. I finished this picture like really, really quickly, and I think I ended up making a second one as well because for two reasons. Number one, because I finished so quickly, and number two, because I really want to finish this sketchbook before the year ends. I just have to paint something every single day, and I'll be able to finish it. And it's something I really want to share. Probably will be my first video of next year. My sketchbook tour would be kind of fun to do. Hey, can I uh, add my sketchbook in there? Let's see. If it's finished by then. Of course it won't be finished. I don't do that, that much painting. It's gotta be finished. That's the point of a sketchbook tour. The whole sketchbook's finished. The previous ones are horrible. No. And so here I have again. So I've tried to like uh, do a shading technique. Is that a thing? Shading's always a thing in art. Like uh, with watercolors, and that kind of went good with me. And this is where we go a bit haywire with the camera. I, in, in this point of time, I am wondering whether to do the leaves. And now we are looking for pencil. We're sitting at an art desk and can't find a pencil. Amazing. Not the pencil. It's the pencil. Ah, the pencil, the pencil, the pencil. That's too much celebration for a pencil, but yes, we were very happy to have found a pencil. I decided to make a bird, being me with all my decision making. You said there's an animal in every picture, so... So I decided to go with a bluebird. Are bluebirds a thing? Yes. Blue jay. No, this is not a blue jay. You say blue jay, I think of mocking jay. You say mockingbird, I think of mocking jay, so. Here the feet of the bird go a bit cuckoo. You're mixing up your birds now. Isn't this something like a cuckoo bird? No, there's no cuckoo bird leg. No leg cuckoo bird. Oh, yeah, so there is something like a bluebird, and now I have just. So here I started on my second tree. This one was far more imaginative and definitely very, very, very unrealistic. And very black. That's brown. Black. Brown. Black. Brown. Well, anyway, it's imaginative because the leaves aren't green. They aren't orange. They aren't yellow. They are rainbow colored. Obviously, I'm me. And I love rainbows. Disaster is about to strike. <laughs> Face flat! Wet paint on wet paint is not a good idea. Yeah, look at that. Look at what she did. I splashed my work! No, you splashed my work even more. I mean, it is my fault, but I splashed my work! And I have been. Tri I was trying to be a nice man. You complained about it. Yes, I complained about it. Disaster. And then my brother so wonderfully decided to push my work completely out of the frame because um, I was done with my second piece. And, and she refused to, d to do another one. I'd already done two. You want me to do a third one? I could have. And tissues in my hand. Thank you. 
pair of glasses throughout this thing. Um, it's they're my glasses. I I wear glasses. It's my brother's first time with the camera, like not like first time recording with the camera. So he's figuring stuff out, like the zooming in and zooming out. And we're done. Woohoo! I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. It was a bit of a twist and slightly more fun than usual. Like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe. Bye.